What is up guys? Mr. The Reverts here. Welcome back to the channel today. I want to talk to you guys about a couple updates regarding hacking in a Warzone Battle Royale and the video I posted a couple days ago and also some things to look out for coming this week. So if you guys own the Battle Pass and you log into Modern Warfare before April 5th, then you will be able to get 10 Battle Pass tier skips by going into the store and there should be a section titled just for you and you just go into that and you will be able to skip 10 tiers in the Battle Pass. But if you already completed the battle pass or if you're at like 95 or something like that Then the remaining tier skips are gonna transfer over into the next season's battle pass Which more than likely is gonna start on April the 7th and also guys starting today There is gonna be double XP double weapon XP and double tier skips until April the 6th Great way for everybody to level up their weapons in Warzone and earn some attachments along with completing out the rest of the battle pass Which leads me back into the previous point for the 10 tier skips if you are about to complete your battle pass tiers, then definitely focus on playing this weekend and then maybe considering using those 10 free tier skips to transfer over into the next season's battle pass stream. Also, one final thing to mention, Call of Duty Modern Warfare is going to be free to play this weekend starting today until the 6th of April. So if you're one of those players who downloaded Warzone but don't have Modern Warfare, then you can get a taste of what the multiplayer is like and again, have an easier way to level up weapons for Warzone and get those attachments. Now, like I mentioned a few days ago, I uploaded a video talking about my biggest concern with Warzone and it's the hackers. I'll leave a link to the video down below in the description in case you guys want to go watch that. But the hacking is really starting to get more and more out of hand to the point where it could possibly kill Warzone. Like this game is absolutely amazing. There's 30 million players on this game as of mid-March. Huge achievement. And literally, I believe that I'm dying to hackers a good majority of the games that I play in. And it's super 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 easy for PC players to hack this game there needs to be more anti-cheating enforcements on this game and and like soon because this game is still very very fresh and you've got the attention of so many big name streamers youtubers celebrities the list goes on and on so it's very very important that infinity ward acts on what they're going to be doing in the near future to handle this issue because it's really starting to get out of hand and I just don't want to see it possibly get to the point where warzone is dead because no nobody wants to play because there's just too many hackers on this game. I kind of already feel like Warzone is, is plagued with hackers enough to the point where I can't win games anymore on any day because I keep dying so dang much to, to these players or you know like I, I'm just questioning all my deaths that I get in these games because I don't understand how this player was able to like whip around so fast and shoot me or line up all these shots perfectly onto my head. So. Hacking definitely is a huge issue and it should be the main issue that Infinity Ward looks to resolve within these next coming days here. They have stated that since the game launched, they banned 50,000 players that are accused of hacking, which is a good thing. Thank you guys for that. But what is keeping those players from just simply making a brand new account and starting all over again? So uh, I do kind of give them the benefit of the doubt though, because th they probably don't want to reveal everything since that could give hackers is more of an insight on how to bypass the security and whatnot but they have stated like i said since day one they've banned 50,000 people and also their security teams are monitoring 24 7 to investigate data and identify potential infractions the team reviews all possible cheaters and hacks that includes identifying use of aimbots wall hacks and more and they also say that they're working to improve our in-game system for reporting potential cheating plans are underway to streamline the ui for a more seamless reporting experience and for all reports reports that are received in game they're both analyzed and filtered based on key data and then lastly once investigation are complete then they are going to continue to work as quickly as possible to ban those players um but i mean all of that sounds really really nice and all but like i said what's stopping those players from just simply making a brand new account fortnite has done a really good job with identifying hackers even before they get into games or they're even able to play like one game and their account's gone so hopefully infinity ward is able to do something similar because hacking is starting to get more and more out of hand like I kind of see it being something similar to the coronavirus a little bit where it wasn't really addressed or taken as seriously at the start but now we see it getting more and more out of hand but Infinity Ward please keep us updated in the next blog post about plans to fix hacking and even hopefully how do you plan to prevent this from happening as often as it does today so that's the end of the video guys thanks so much for watching love y'all so so much till next time I'll see you guys later